It's been just about three weeks since I introduced you to my hydroponic greenhouse. Let's have a look inside and see how things have changed. You can see that we still have a long ways to go, but we are making awesome progress. You might remember from the last video that uh, these tomato plants looked essentially dead when I put them in the buckets. And I just uh, strung them up today because they some of them were starting to fall over. And the idea is that they, they will grow probably pretty close to the top of the greenhouse. And as I mentioned in the last video, I don't know what kind each tomato is. I planted a bunch that I like. And then these were some of the healthier ones that I transplanted. And I didn't keep track of which is which because I don't really care. I grew tomatoes that I like, so there's not too many tomatoes I don't like. <laughs> but as you can see, they are doing very well. Some are already starting to produce some buds. Or most of them actually are. But one thing to note is uh, see the green in my buckets? That is from algae, and that is one of the reasons why what I usually do, and what I actually I learned from somebody else on YouTube a while ago, is you take a little tube and you stick it into the perlite, and then you stick your, your tube inside of that, so that the bottom, or that the top of the perlite stays dry, and that prevents the uh, algae from growing. I still need to add perlite to this but to all these buckets, actually, the especially the tomato ones. And so that will prevent, you know, the problem I'm seeing. But I'm going to get some allergy either way. This is that monster tomato plant that um, I had inside that didn't look so good, but it's definitely starting to come back into it now for sure. I'm going to let that basically own this corner of the greenhouse and just see what happens. But yeah, it's doing great right now. I mean, it's, I know it still looks terrible because it has a lot of like dead leaves on it and everything, but you can see just this new growth everywhere and it looks really good. A couple more tomatoes that are doing really well. One thing about stringing them up is I went to the hardware store and they didn't have what I, what I like to use, which is like a wide band, um, sort of an interlocking clip that goes around the stem and then you can tie that off to something and so hopefully these thin wire ones don't cut into the plant and cause a problem we'll see what happens but I was kind of surprised that they didn't have that in stock here's a jalapeno pepper Again, I showed this before too but now it is looking much much healthier uh, this pepper here could easily be harvested See how it's got the serrations in it, or the cracks? That generally means that's a pretty hot pepper for me. It, it really just means that it's, uh, it's very ripe, but these, these will turn red if you grow them long enough and it's not even starting to turn and it already has those serrations on it or cracks. So I guarantee you, if you bit into that pepper, you'd find it's a lot hotter than what you think a jalapeno should be. A couple more peppers. Again, algae. See, and on this one, I've got the tube in here. And so there's no algae on the top. Because the top stays nice and dry. I'll probably, now that the root... I, one of the reasons I left the, the tube on the top like this is that the roots hadn't established yet. And so I couldn't really use the tube because I'd be getting down below where the roots were. And so I, that's why I did this. You can see I got a couple, uh, got weeds. I'm not supposed to have to weed in my hydroponic garden. But so now I'll probably move back to the, using a little tube on all of them to prevent that allergy growth. More peppers. Another pepper with a lot of allergy. This bucket actually might be slightly plugged up. I should check into that because it, it, maybe it's lifting and getting the whole thing wet. But 
The pepper plant doesn't seem to care. It looks great. Another pepper plant that I'm using the tube. Very little algae growth on that. Here's my uh, tomato plant that was basically dead, but I decided I'd keep trying to grow it anyways. And it looks great. This tomato is basically ready to eat right now. There's still some dead branches on here. I got to clean off, but like this is an offshoot of the plant that looks fantastic. And I just, I just dump some uh, nutrient solution in the cocoa core every now and then, and it just keeps doing great. Here's that other jalapeno, also looking fantastic. It hasn't really put on much fruit yet. So far, it seems like it drops most of the buds. I do see one right here that is fruiting. So it will start to do it. I don't have a ton of flying insects in the greenhouse. And so what I try to do is when I get a chance, when I'm out here, if I see flowers that are open, I'll just kind of rub my finger under one then rub my finger under another and just keep doing that to all the blossoms. I don't know if that really helps, but I think it probably does. Now the pepper plant doing great. Now here are my zucchini. Now because I grew these way too early they're all flowering like crazy before the plant was really big enough to sustain any sort of fruit and uh they'll come into it though but they're already a lot bigger than they were when i put them in here you see this one especially was the best looking one of all of them and you see it's got a couple little zucchinis in there that may or may not survive and then my bucket corn is another interesting thing here. So you can see this is probably like, I don't know, it's probably like two foot tall, maybe two and a half foot tall corn, but it's already starting to put out its, its silk or whatever you want to call it. And so I'm a little bit concerned that that might be too soon. Um, so maybe this may not actually produce corn or if it does it will be on very short plants will be pretty interesting to see so we'll see what happens with the corn i'll keep you updated and just another little pepper plant so that's going to do it for this video just a quick update i just want to keep showing you as time goes by how it goes i'm actually going to keep up with it this year and this is going to be a jungle before you know it I think on the next update it will look a lot more like a jungle so keep watching subscribe if you're not already subscribed hit that little bell so you get little notifications whenever i post new videos if you liked this give me a thumbs up leave me a comment i appreciate it i replied almost every comment when i see them which i don't see every comment but i try thanks for watching